Humans like labels, and I'm not talking Gucci or Hermes, although I do, I do like those too. I'm talking we love to classify everything, a place for everything and everything in its place. In the world of cars, there's a name for all different shapes and sizes. I'm talking super mini, crossover, hatchback, SUVs, you name it, there's a label for it. So what the heck is that? Of course, I know what it is. This is the new Citroen C5X, a new flagship from the French brand. And let us know in the comments below your thoughts as to what category this car is. And of course, if this is your first time around here, please do subscribe, smash the like button. And if you like this at the end of the video, please don't hesitate to share it as well. And actually, don't forget the bell notification because every time there's a new video like this, you get notified. So, is it a saloon? Maybe, sort of, estate? Hmm, but it's too high, so maybe it's just a squashed SUV. The answer is, uh, all of the things. The C5X, according to its press release, offers the elegance of a saloon, the versatility of an estate, and the commanding presence of an SUV. In fact, the X part of his name represents, again, I'm quoting here, the crossroad of customers' needs. Which has me worried, to be honest, mainly because when you're trying to please all humans, trying to be everything to all humans, you fail to find your sweet spot. You know how the saying goes, jack of all trades, master of none, yeah, that kind of situation. So let's just take this in a little bit. And I mean, I have to say the front is pretty good. It's got a grumpy vibe going on with this frowning daylight running lights and then the recessed headlights. And then we've got this tough, wide stance here as well. I mean, there's a lot to look at. Look at the scallop on the bonnet as well. It's definitely got a really nice stance to it and it gives it a really good presence. I like it. Then we come to the side of the car and we get this plastic wheel arches and then we have a 19 inch alloys as well. But the special thing about the alloys is it's got this extra slat on it, which creates a turbine effect for aerodynamics. And we have a design cue here with the hybrid logo, which basically when you see this on the road, you know you've got a hybrid version, the C5X. And we have this lifted line as well that makes the car look big. Uh, but the design of the side, pretty basic. Then it gets to the back, I mean, just look at it. It all goes a bit mad again. And we have all kind of swooped up design, fastback styled, big Y shaped rear light, two spoilers. Not sure we need two though. And yes, that's a hatchback for practicality points. I kind of like it. They've managed to keep it looking sporty and elegant, but they might have overdone it with the two spoilers though. Maybe that's something that you guys might like. Let us know in the comments below. The reason we are here? Well, the C5X comes with a choice of internal combustion engine or one with a plug and an engine. Like most of other plug-in Citroen models, that means you get a 1.6 litre turbo engine with a little electric motor bolted to the eight-speed automatic gearbox or driving the front wheels. Stick some charge in here and you're looking at 222 brake horsepower with 13.2 kilowatt hour battery for a 30 miles pure electric range on the WLTP cycle. That all adds up to 186 to 236 miles per gallon combined on that weird WLTP calculator and uh, 0 to 62 in 7.8 seconds and a top speed of 145 miles per hour. That's all well and good, but it's nothing groundbreaking when it comes to fast or efficiency. But what might swing this for you is the fact that, like all modern Citroëns, this thing hits differently when it comes to the inside because it's all about the lounging. One of the good things about electric vehicles is silence and comfort, right? Well, the Citroën C5X is set up to make the most of that. It can run on pure electric up to 84 miles per hour and it starts in EV mode when you switch it on. So it breaks you into your journey quietly. But that's more to making it a really chilled place, even when the engine kicks in. These seats, they're a bit like memory foam mattress, and yes, they're comfy AF. There's acoustically laminated glass to keep the noise down and a big window to keep the sunshine quota up. There's Citron's super insulating suspension. It calls it advanced comfort active suspension, which works with the car's progressive hydraulic cushions. I swear I'm not making this up to make the car glide over bumps and not fall over in corners. Citroen says he nails a magic carpet ride, but we'll have to wait until we drive it to figure out if that's true. But the interior is less wacky than the outside if I'm being brutally honest. There's this 12 inch display which dominates the dash. It's fully customizable with cloud-based updates and screen mirroring for your phone. And oh wait, widgets. Yes, it's got widgets. There's a smaller display here in front of the driver and there's also a full color 
heads-up display up there which you can change the widgets and mess around with it with the information that's displayed on there. We also have four USB-C ports inside of the car and oh look here we also have wireless charging chi wireless charging mat here and plenty of space just around here to put things. And as you might expect, there are usual driving modes and full list of modern safety and assistance systems. Soft like adaptive cruise with stop and go and lane keep assist, blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert, and on some models, 360 degree surround view cameras. Basically all the stuff you would expect from a modern premium car and it feels good. And when you look around in here, you realize how big this is, even for a FEV that hasn't got the space efficiency of a pure electric car. And when you look around the back, there's plenty of space, plenty of knee room, even with, with the way the seats is positioned right now. People seeing at the back will be nice and comfortable. Even that kicked up back end doesn't hurt the practicality very much. The boot is proper sized at 545 liters and drop the seats and you're looking at 1,640 liters, which is properly useful when you consider a Volvo V90 S8 only has 15 litres more seats up and over 100 litres less with the rear seats dropped. If nothing else, you know this car is practical. So, what do we think of the Citroen C5X? The plug-in hybrid tech is adequate rather than groundbreaking and the interior tech is decent but not as quirky as the outside and it's got a big space. The exterior is as mad as a box of frogs but we'll have to take you for a drive before we give you our final verdict. This plug-in hybrid is expected to be around £35,000, but is it a niche buster or a bit of a mishmash? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you want to know more about anything car shaped that features a plug socket, then please log on to electrifying.com where you find loads of videos, tips, articles and explainers about everything electrified.